In 2020, approximately 1.8 million new cases of cancer were reported in the United States. While treatment options, early detection, and improvements in healthcare have helped mitigate cancer fatalities in the recent decades, a severe bodily wasting condition known as cancer cachexia is still estimated to occur in up to 80% of cancer patients and accounts for approximately 20% of all cancer-related deaths. So of those 1.8 million new cancer diagnoses in 2020 alone, roughly 1.4 million are likely to develop cachexia, and 3,600,000 or so will eventually succumb to the disease due to cachexia-related complications. My name is Dan Belcher. I'm a PhD candidate in the Integrative and Biomedical Physiology program, and I work under Dr. Gustavo Nader studying the molecular regulations of skeletal muscle. When most people think of muscle research, their first thought is often related to weightlifting or running or working with world-class athletes and how to get bigger, faster, and stronger. While that is a lot of the attention-grabbing aspects of the field, an often overlooked aspect is just how important muscle function is to general health and quality of life. I think a perfect illustration of this importance is how the severe muscle wasting that occurs through cachexia greatly reduces survivability of a cancer diagnosis. It not only harshly impacts these patients' quality of life by making things such as bringing in groceries, feeding their pets, playing with their children or grandchildren a significant burden, but it can also lead to a state where their anti-cancer treatments are no longer effective. Much of the recent work I've done in our lab has been on uncovering how different models of cancer cachexia ultimately act on skeletal muscle itself to disrupt its ability to produce and synthesize new proteins in order to maintain itself. While the driving force behind cachexia is so largely unknown, it is my hope that through continued study of the effects of cancer on muscle health and muscle maintenance, that one day we will be able to prevent or treat cancer cachexia and give those 300,000 plus patients a year a fighting chance at life.